Greetings, Alpha Magnus here. Um, it's been a minute since I've been able to record a video. I've had tons in the backlog, so you guys probably haven't noticed anything. Um, today we've got this. This is the long-awaited DC Multiverse Batman 89 with Batmobile Gold Label from Amazon. Just now having a chance to open this. Uh, it's been a rough, rough couple months. Um, this came in a box from Amazon. It was damaged. This box seems a little squished, but nothing terrible. And then this box inside here. There's another box. We got ourselves a McFarlane Turducken box here. A nesting egg, if you will. Um, little corner savers, which is good to have. Box, what, one, two, three? Eventually, we're going to get the actual product. There's a fourth box. <laughs> and hilariously, four boxes in, still have a damaged box. Luckily, I'm not an inbox collector, but that would piss me off if I was. Um, maybe some padding in the boxes, not just box inside a box inside a box, guys. Um, so far, so good. Hopefully nothing is damaged. It's, it's smashed on this end and on this end. Um, so very lucky that I, I'm not keeping this in the box. Um, just don't have room for boxes. I don't know who has room for boxes. I don't have room for any of this. So I'm just going to cut every piece of tape that I find down here. Because I don't know how this opens. Uh, if somehow you're unfamiliar with the 1989 Batmobile, uh, it is probably my favorite design for the Batmobile. Um, barely edging it out to the uh, 66 one. I just think that one looks cool. But this one was kind of like Knight Ridering the 66 one. I feel like there's a perfect Batmobile somewhere in this world. Um, where it would be. Take those out. And I'll show you the box in the more detail. Doesn't look like anything's damaged. All right. So here's the box. We got that says Batmobile and Batman, same side. Pretty much the same thing on every every side. It even shows that you can put them in there for what that's worth. Now, luckily, this guy is a little bit shorter. Then the box. And by a little bit, not a lot. So I have a feeling that the actual crushed box that's on the inside of here um, was probably stopped by this, and this took the brunt of the damage. Luckily, there is no actual damage on it. It's just, it took the force, which that's not really how packaging is supposed to work, guys. Um, I wanted to get two of these because I wanted to do a bat that missile but i'm just gonna wait for them to do it now because i don't have the money for, for that kind of thing but here it is this is i am six foot six and that's how big this thing is now mind you i probably make it look look small compared to some of the other youtubers out there a uh, little weird batman is just in a bag uh that's all just that some, some assembly required. I don't know. I can't see what I'm looking at right here. So I don't know if you can see the Batmobile currently. So I'm going to back up a little bit. Hmm. Probably would help if I didn't have black clothing on. Let's, let's, uh, 
best planning on both sides here, McFarlane and not. Uh, these look like they are specific, so you have to click this in here. Once you put these in, pretty sure you can't get them out. So make sure that you uh, don't plan on putting it back in that box at any point. There we go. Uh, this one much better than the previous version. I did not get that previous version because it sold out in two seconds. I'm actually surprised I even got this one. I ordered this one the millisecond it was available. And then I watched everyone else I know get it before me. Um, it finally arrived though. Uh, bottom has the bat symbol course uh sides everything's good uh i have not actually checked to see if this is accurate to the, the batmobile it does have rubber tires which is kind of surprising like they're somewhat flexible um and we do have this go on um i did not purchase any of the the batman 66 ones because i the scale is off the, they're not very poseable um, if they made one this big, I probably would. There's, of course, the button here, which uh, pops the canopy. Uh, the button's right there. Uh, these do not pop out like the, the toy or... or uh, did they pop out? I think they did pop out in the movie. It's been a while since I watched that movie. Uh, the thruster does not turn on the front or anything. Uh, and there's no lights at all on this guy. Uh, I feel like it's nice and hollow. And it has open screw ports, so if you wanted to do lights, that's probably possible. I might repurpose some, some Transformer um, blast effects for that. Uh, we got the single single cab here, so no Vicky Vale uh, from riding this. Uh, which, I don't know how she would have done that in the movie anyway, how, how the size is this. This guy is a heckin' chonker, though. Let's take a look at the bats. Um, I've heard, I've heard pe some people don't like this figure. It has its, just from seeing what it is. But what I don't like is that he just comes with fists. You can't put a batarang in there. Like everyone's mad about this cowl. I could care less about the cowl. I never liked the the original Batmobile or Batman um, look anyway because he's getting it turns neck. Um, I do think that having it where this could pop off would have been cool and you can put the static neck on. He'll probably do that later. Um, does have the usual uh, McFarlane diaper, uh, as, as we call it. Uh, basic articulation of any McFarlane figure. It actually feels kind of good. There's like actual detents in this. So I don't know if this might have been like his test market for this. Everything seems to twist and turn and bend as it should. Um, the boots are real nice. I, I like this figure. What I don't like about it is, is that there's no way to swap the hands out and do any other things here. Uh, he didn't come with his grapnel. Um, like things that the bat, bat that Batman uses in that, that movie um, would have been nice. Uh, now, that being said, we're probably never going to get an actual... Um, Jack Nicholson. Uh, we'll probably get every other movie aside from from uh, Jack Nicholson Joker. At least as long as he's alive. Um, he doesn't seem like the type who'd want his, his face put on stuff. Which is a bummer. Uh, but I'd settle for a Bob the Goon. Uh, here we've got uh, his face. You've probably seen it in much better pictures in another videos. It looks enough like Michael Keaton, uh, especially younger Michael Keaton. Um, I'm not going to harp on that. And it always comes with, of course, the DC multiverse stand. Um, it uh, It is what it is. The, the real reason you bought this is for the Batmobile. There's this him on the stand. Uh, the cloth cape is always appreciated. Um, it doesn't really do anything crazy. There's no things. I'm sure you could buy a third-party cape uh, and have that work. I'm trying to see if... It doesn't look like the, the cowl uh, thing is glued on there. It might be glued on here. 
Just, a, just, just a fun to have a Batman. Let's try to put him inside. Um, that's the other thing. He, you can't. He's, he's got fists. So you can't even have him drive the Batmobile. Like, there's things that need to be rectified here. Um, he is Punch Man at this point. I'm Batman. Tell your friend. Yeah, there needed to be something else included on here. You can't even spin the steering wheel, so I guess that doesn't matter. Did it have a steering wheel? I thought it had weird, like, Knight Rider um, things. Uh, he's probably going to go in here and never come back out, so... Uh, the only reason that I would really want to, uh, to do that is if, if somehow he comes out with a... Um, he being um, Todd McFarlane, they come out with a... Um, Christopher Lee's Superman. Because I feel like that Superman is the Superman of the Tim Burton universe. Um, he just might have been dead at that time for whatever reason. Maybe maybe Doomsday got him. There you go. Um, D89 Batmobile. I, I, I can't say I'm in love but I'm really glad to have it. Um, I think we we missed out on a few things with uh, the Flash movie being the reason why this exists, um, like extra tooling and stuff like that. They kind of just made it and blasted out. But this was only I think eighty bucks for both. This was this is worth the money. Um, you look at like the engine of vengeance or some of those other companies even the ramen toys ones seem a little bit expensive but that's because they have lower uh order quantities i get that um but if they did just all hasbro needed to do was get the actual license for for that that vehicle um and then the license for fast and the furious and they would have been able to make it this cheap this was this was what you want to say 60 bucks for the the this and then the figures 20 or does he just come with it for free i don't know uh the having the canopy be the same color as the rest of it is very much nice um and then you can see him in there so this isn't well this isn't blacked out which is weird because i'm pretty sure this is blacked out uh in the movie i don't think you can ever see inside of here um I'm sure that there's a 3D artist out there that's doing the um, the armored version. That comes out, I'm buying that uh, and 3D printing that. Uh, oh, all in all, this is just amazing. The fact that this even exists, the fact that we get, we get Keaton bats so many years later. Now this is, this is something I wanna, I wanna, I wanna toss out there. This figure, I said I was never taking it out, but I'm taking it out now. Batmobile aside. This figure was the, this movie was the, the precipice, the, the catalyst for the repaint. And if we do not get weird variants of this figure in just every form you are doing something wrong Todd McFarlane in particular uh the crazy colors that came out of Batman Returns and I don't remember if there's a lot of difference between this and, and Batman Returns uh, costume wise but specifically I think it was like Arctic Batman where he had like the, the dome over his head I want all of those and I have a problem because I don't even collect DC figures, but I would collect those. So put that in there. Um, the other thing is, is that the Jokerized figures, I've been buying those, uh, specifically the movies. So if you want to do a Jokerized version of this, please make it the splattered paint kind of deal. Um, as if 
that Joker got it. That's the one problem that I have with the Dark Knight trilogy uh, Joker Eyes figures. They do look like Heath Ledger's Joker did that. But if you start moving into the other other ones, please make sure to do that Joker, not the rest. Same with um, Poison Ivy and all those other ones that you're doing with the Schumacher films. Um, I really feel like like this could be fun. I collect those Joker Eyes figures and I don't even know why. They just look funny and, and they're neon and bright and dumb. So all in all, I'm going to give this two thumbs up. <clears throat> three thumbs up if I if I if I can um even with this jawline being invisible still this is awesome uh, I do feel like they could have probably done something here to make the jawline a little less visible and and give that more of a, a sleek this very much feels like I don't remember who took over Val Kilmer. This feels like the Val Kilmer um, costume because of that, where the original one was just straight down. Now, that would have limited how much he can move around, but isn't that the point? Um, thanks, to Todd McFarlane, for coming out with some goofy stuff. And um, thanks to Amazon for actually delivering it. Uh, I've had a couple things canceled from Walmart in the last couple couple of wiles and then um mostly wwe figures that are exclusive to them and also um just had my rulers of the sun canceled uh three pack from target so that's going to be fun to hunt down that is the final bit that i needed and finding duplico was hard enough so uh thanks for actually delivering this to anyone who isn't who hasn't gotten theirs yet um i'm gonna guess they probably are you are gonna get them i don't think todd would allow uh, I think he would run another production run just despite uh, anything or something that happened wrong. Very glad I got this. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 it's rare when I'm speechless. So, hope you enjoyed this review. Please like, subscribe, comment. I'm Alpha Magnus. Toys are going to go in there eventually.